Okay, guys, I am gonna show you how you will create a new file. It's very easy. I know you know that, but you might get something new here. Well, just press Ctrl N or you can go through file and then new. Suppose if I press Ctrl N, let's see what happens. Just try to use the smart things, try to use the shortcuts. Well, we have got our new document window and from here we have got recent. That means recently I have used with the sizes. Well, that's we know that. And saved means we know if we save here anything, then we'll get it here. After that mobile, there are a few sizes with the mobile phone screen and that is for only the UI UX designer. And if some of you know that, what is UI UX? Well, this is one of the most important part of graphic designing. Well, there are a few sizes of the mobile phone and those who are related with the creating uh, app, they need that size. Well, no problem. We don't need that right now. We'll go to the web and here you will get some website um, sizes like you can work with the, um, you can take a template and create a website, um, what can I say, layout. Okay, so this is not our work and then we'll go to the print and mostly we use that A4 size and there is one thing we have seen A4, A3, B4, B5 well A4, uh, A6, A5, A4, A3 which one is larger? Exactly. You are so brilliant if you go in the if you decrease the number, that means A3, A1, A0, A minus, then you will get the bigger size. But if you increase the size A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, then you will get the bigger size. Well, that is just one of the most important things. Sometimes people think that, well, A5, A6, A6 is bigger because the number is uh, much. That's why. Well, uh, no problem. And we are still, well, there is one more thing is this film and video. And there are a few uh, few. A template you will get the HD size that means uh, full HD and USD ultra HD no problem we don't need that we'll go to the print and we'll select a4 size we'll go there and I'll rename it at trust a r t b o a r d r board okay and then the next step is you have to go here and we can see some sizes like picas inches millimeter centimeter pixels we you know that I know you are brilliant. That's why you know what is pixels, centimeter, millimeter, inches, picas, points. Well, no problem. In Illustrator, mostly we use points. Points means a small dot. And we know that Illustrator is a vector-based software. Vector means the vector files are created with points. That means dots. Select here points and I will take 1000 points. 1000 point by 1000 point. Okay, no problem. And in the right side, orientation that means you want in portrait mode or landscape mode. I want in landscape mode, it is set by default. And in the right side, I can see artboard. What's this? You know that. What is artboard? I have told you a few seconds ago. I want to increase one more. I want two artboards. Well, and in the downside, we can see bleed. Guys, what is bleed? Well, let's check it out. Just increase the number. I'm putting here 20, 25. Well, this link is on. That's why it's changing from each side. But if I make it off, if I increase here, then I'll get it here. That means I'm getting here 40 and I'll increase this size also. 25, 7, 30, 35. Well, no problem. And in the more settings, no need to go there. We don't have any work here or we don't have any work here. Well, this is the full portion and there's something, something. No, ignore that for now because as you are beginner and in the advanced option, you can select the colors CMYK RGB. Guys, can you tell me which color we'll use here? CMYK or RGB? CMYK. Yes. 
Allah. You are totally intelligent. Intelligent. Well, CMYK and resolution. Which one? 350. Very good. Because 300, 300, 300, 300 resolution is very, uh, very good for paint. We'll use that. And preview yes, mode default. And hit on create. Better for film set. Okay. Just wait a little bit. It will create my new artboard. Hmm. Yes, I have got that. Yes, got well, that. the changes I can see. I, can see. I have given two artboard in command. command. And we were confused about the bleed. What is the bleed? In the left side, we can see a red line. And there is a little gap and we can see this is my artboard. Okay, and this is also. And I have increased this in 40 and this is 35. This is the bleed. Sometimes you need that to, uh, to save your file from the print, for unusual print. So that time you need that. That means your file will be saved from here. Or you can do the alignment from here. Well, people use that in various ways. And it's no like uh, save June. Okay. And sometimes we work with bleed. Sometimes we don't work with bleed. And if you need any other size, like I'm going to the new document window again. Well, here, what I'll do, suppose I need inches. First, I have to select here inches. And we're going to, we're going to create a business card. I will write down here business card. Okay, and here I'll select. Can you tell me the sizes of the business card, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, brilliant. You are brilliant. And I will place here zero and I'll click on the chain link. This is called link. This is zero. And um, how many sides of business card? Two, three, four, five. Two sides. Yes, very good. Two. You are brilliant. I will take two artboards. And now I'll create on create or I'll press enter in the keyboard. I have got that two artboard. This is the size of the business card. I have got that. And this is in inches. So if you want to apply color here, how to do that? Well, we'll check it out later. So like this you can create a new file you can take any sizes bleed or color or resolution everything guys understood yes sir 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 